babes! Welcome back to my channel! So today I am super excited to be doing this video because it has been a highly anticipated haul on my channel and it will be a pretty little thing haul. So I've always just kind of like drooled over this company and their super cute unicorn branding and like all their beautiful stuff and I just love their brand so much. Um, I hadn't really ordered a whole lot from them in the past just because I don't tend to spend money on clothes that often um, because I do have so much already for free from what I do. But I finally got a collaboration with Pretty Little Thing and I am so excited to try all of it on for you guys and review the quality. So without further ado, let's get started on the Pretty Little Thing try on and haul. There's also a pair of shoes that I can't really display up here. so. Just so you know, those are coming in a little bit too. So first, let's start with a tube top. I've been really liking tube tops. I know it's not the season for it at all, but I just have really been liking them. So I've ordered a couple here from them. This one is just a plain white one and it's kind of this um, neoprene kind of material. It's thicker. So this right here is a size six. I originally had gotten a size four in this one and it was just too small. Um, like I could fit it onto my body, but it would like leave lines on me and it was just uncomfortable. Um, so I'm finding that I am not the smallest size in this company, which is very unusual. I'm usually always going for just the smallest size. Um, but with Pretty Little Thing, I actually am going to have to be one size up, which is actually kind of refreshing because that means girls that are even smaller than me can also order from them and get their size. I'll also leave all of my measurements in the description just in case you guys were wondering about specifics and if you are going to order some of these items, which size you should get between six or an eight or a six or a four. But I am most of the time a six from Pretty Little Thing. So on to quality of this. Um, I really, really do like the quality of it. It's fairly stretchy. I will say the stitching on the top of the bust here is a little bit like, not going to go as far as to say itchy, but just not flawlessly comfortable. Like I can feel it there. But I'm not like bothered by it to the point where I wouldn't put it on. So it's like really pretty nice quality, tiny bit bothersome stitching, but not bad overall. But it is the perfect little piece to style with like a denim skirt or really literally anything. I'm just thinking about the list and the list just goes on and on. So for a quality rating, I would give this one an 8 out of 10 and cuteness rating, I would give it a 10 out of 10. So the next tube top is kind of this um, baby pink slinky one, and it's a little bit longer. This one is actually, I believe, a size 4 and a US 0. Um, I would definitely not go up a size in this one. It runs a little bit big, I think. Um, it's a slinky forgiving material, a lot more stretchy than that one. Um, so I would definitely be able to go a size down in this, which I did. <laughs> so the color of pink of this is definitely like a bubblegum pink. It is so pretty. It's not really like a pale pink though, like I had kind of thought maybe, but I am in love with the color still and the fabric is like my favorite kind of fabric. It's the one that is always like slinky on the title and it's just so soft and it feels really nice quality. So for quality wise on this one, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Um, it just kind of bunches sometimes and looks a little bit maybe loose-ish in areas, but it's like really, really nice quality and it's so comfortable. So next up is this super beautiful bodysuit. I believe the color was like rose. That's what it was called on Pretty Little Thing. It's a lot more like just a nude to me, but it is kind of a pink tinted nude and it actually fits insanely well. I also just adore the way this was constructed with like the line down the middle and it just looks so cute. I just love this bodysuit so much. And it doesn't really crease or look weird anywhere. It fits me really nicely. This one I also got in a US 0 and UK 4 because it is so stretchy and forgiving. Also, the bodysuit part of it is long enough for me. I'm 5'7", but this bodysuit is definitely a favorite of mine. And I would give this one like a 10 out of 10 on quality because it was such a good price and also it was just no flaws. So now moving on to dresses. This is this super gorgeous kind of mauve pink color dress and it's a halter neck. 
I got this one in a size 6, US 2, and it is one of their like really super inexpensive $5 dresses or five pound or something like that, but they're so cheap. And it's insanely crazy how cheap these are for the, I guess, quality that they are. It's very thin fabric, but the fabric is soft. It's like nice against your skin. And I really, really appreciate that about clothes, especially when they're cheap too. I really appreciate that as well. But yeah, I also really adore the color and I'm really into their like $5, um, dress line because I think that's so cool. There's all the different cuts and everything. There's like the strapless ones and I'm about to show you a midi one too. So the quality in my opinion on this one would probably be like a 9 out of 10 just because I can wear it without a bra and it's not thin enough that it's like gonna show through. Also it's so soft and also the color matched on the website of what it was. Okay so here is the midi dress. It is all white and quite long, longer than I usually get in dresses. I'm more of a mini dress type girl, but I thought that this was so cute and I loved the neckline on it. It is very thin white material, so I'd totally wear pasties with this. Again, though, it's like $5, so kind of expected. <laughs> but the sleeves, I worry about being just a tiny bit too short. Um, like the tube top, I also got this one originally in a size four, but it was like so, so tight especially up in the bust area and like the armpits kind of it was just like really tight around here um so this one's a lot better this one's a size six and it just <laughs> fits better than the four i think so any of the five dollar super inexpensive dresses i would definitely stay true or go up a size in but yeah that's just my general feedback for this one i would say the quality um out of 10 would be probably maybe a seven because it's pretty good but I do wish it was a little bit thicker so you wouldn't see through it. So next I have this pair of kind of cargo pants which I'm super excited about because I saw a photo on Instagram that just made me want to get these. Um, <laughs> and these are super fancy it seems like because whenever I got something from House of CB um, they had this little tape on the side just like them where it's like the return um, tape I guess. It's like if you cut it off, you can no longer return it or something like that. And that's not on anything else from Pretty Little Thing except for this. So it makes me think that they're fancier. <laughs> but anyways, these are the cargo pants. And they have these nice little pockets in the side. And they have um, a kind of cinched ankle to them. And then this is just a little button here and then a really nice zipper. So I really like how this opens and closes. It's super nice and easy. These I also got in a size 6 and they fit perfectly. They don't squeeze my waist to where I get a stomach ache, but they also don't have any extra room in them and that's probably because they are elastic. Also, the color of them is perfect and I am just in love with these pants. I am in love with them. Oh, and the quality rating on this would be totally a 10 out of 10. They are exactly what I want. They are soft and perfect. Next is this teddy bear jacket and it's kind of this pale blush color so i think they called it like a borg jacket i don't know what that means but it's like kind of the trucker jacket kind of um shape and it's super like fluffy and round um it looks super cozy and it is super cozy so i really do like this one it's a little bit um stiff ish but that holds its kind of <laughs> rounded shape a little bit. The fabric isn't like super insanely soft. It's more of like that teddy bear kind of shearling material here. The inside is like kind of this whooshy kind of material. I don't know what to call it, but it makes that sound. But I really do love this jacket. It is super pretty. And then on a quality rating, I would give it a 9 out of 10 just because the inside could be a little bit of a softer material, um, but that's just the only critique I have for it. Okay, last one before the accessories. It's this waterfall coat. Now, the very first thing that I have to get out of the way, um, which I was just talking about with the um, teddy bear jacket, is this one didn't stay true to the color pink on the website. And that was just a little bit of a bummer for me because I thought that this was going to be kind of a lighter more mauve pink 
um, kind of like a mix between this and this. And it ended up being kind of this darker blush nude-ish color. It's a nice soft material, kind of almost a little bit feltish, um, but really like thicker and, and more packed down than felt. It's definitely a really cute piece for layering, but I don't think it'd be warm enough just to wear all by itself. So quality rating on this jacket, I'd give it like a 7 out of 10 just because I'm kind of annoyed about the color not being the exact same. But do know all these are above fives and I would definitely give something a five if I felt that way about it. <laughs> but it is very cute and inexpensive. It was only like $20 or something like that. And it's gonna, I'm still gonna wear it a lot probably I think. <laughs> So next is this hat back here. It's this little beanie hat and I'm super excited about this one mostly because I'm going to go up in the mountains a lot this winter and ski. Um, so I'm going to be wearing this one up there for pictures and stuff a lot and that's mostly why I got it. But it says pretty little thing right here and I'll just try it on for you here. <laughs> this looks hilarious with my satin robe. It's like skater lounge. But anyways, this is what it looks like on. It's really super cute and stretchy and it's a nice material. And I love the Pretty Little Thing logo because it's a cute kind of little slogan anyways. And then last but not least, the boots. These are some white kind of calf high boots and they have this oop, silver um, heel here with a cutout in the middle, which is super retro. It's really cute though. And they're this kind of um, white leather type material. So I've been wanting some white tall boots for quite some time and I saw that they had some. So I just had to order them and they are living up to all my expectations to what I wanted. And I actually love them. They're also fairly comfortable. I think that's because of the chunky heel on them. So I'm super happy about that. And they're also so cute. I was a little bit worried about the sizing because I'm a size seven and a half, um, which is a half size. And I believe they only have like UK five, six, seven, you know, like the UK sizing. So I almost always get a UK five and that always lands me right at a 38 European sizing, which almost always works for me. So that's what I got in these and I'm a seven and a half um, and they fit me perfectly. I haven't gotten to see the wear on these just yet but the quality rating as of now I would give it a 10 out of 10 I think because they haven't disappointed me in any way shape or form so I'm really happy with these boots. So that is it for today's Pretty Little Thing haul and review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know which one of the pieces was your favorite if you could possibly decide. I could never. Um, also let me know if you have any video suggestions for me. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Love you guys so much and I will see you next time.